Hey everybody, this is Pastor Miguel. Today I want to make a video about sinning, sin and demonization. Basically how demons gain access to you through sin. So when you sin, what you're do basically doing is you're breaking fellowship with God. And that fellowship, when, once you break fellowship with God, you lose that protection. And it allows the enemy to be able to influence more, um, to actually oppress you more, and um, to manipulate you, and to tempt you more, because you don't have the protection of God. Now, the only way you can restore that protection is through repentance. So you need to repent of your sin, and then uh, that fellowship will be restored with God, and you will get that protection back. Um, however... If you continue, when we see demonization and true uh, oppression and uh, not possession, but demonization where demons take control of your body, it's when you have, when you live in a certain sin or you, you, or you repeat the sin over and over again. That's what we see. We see people who um, either, for example, uh, people who play the Ouija board, for, uh, a good example would be one time, we don't see them getting demonized as much. As people who play, you know, uh, the the Ouija board for a month, you know, thirty days straight, things like that. Those people are more prone to be demonized than people who just use it uh, occasionally. Okay, that's now that's not a free pass for you to to deal with the occult or to commit certain sins because if you commit one sin, right? If you commit one sin, that's good enough for uh, a devil to uh, demonize you. Okay. So that's why we need to be in repentance. We need to ask God for forgiveness. We need to check ourselves to make sure we're walking in righteousness, that we seek righteousness. Not grace, because grace is a, a gift from God, but, you know, to walk in righteousness and, and, and make sure that we're not sinning. And when we do sin, that we have true repentance, that we ask God to forgive us of our sins so we can restore that fellowship with God and the protection that we get from God. Sinning takes us away from God. Uh, it prevents us from having true fellowship with God. God does not even hear our prayers when we sin. Uh, and therefore, uh, you know, the only prayer he will hear will basically be, you know, the one of repentance. Saying, you know, God forgive me. Have mercy on me. And he's, he will forgive you. Uh, the devil will try to convince you that God will never forgive you no matter how, how, how bad your sin is. That's a lie from the devil. God is always there for you. He loves you. Uh, he wants you. He wants you to have fellowship with you, and uh, you know he, you're you're his son and daughter. So he wants to he wants to be with you. So um, try not to sin. Try to walk in righteousness. And you know if you do sin, uh, which we're all sinners. I know we're all gonna sin some way or another. Um, we have the we have the the ability to repent of our sin. Um, now it, you know you could you could for example I'll give an example you could be you could sin. And uh, you could ask for repentance, but if a demon got in there, then you need to have that demon cast out because then you'll be oppressed. You'll be oppressed. So we need someone to to actually either you could do um, self-deliverance, which I don't recommend at all. Or you could have a deliverance minister pray for you and they will cast that demon out from, from you. OK, so that that will be the way of, of doing that. So, the you know, the heavenlies works works like um, it's like a court system. So when you sin, we see in Job how Satan presents himself in front of God. And, and that's exactly the same thing that happens. The devil goes up to God and says, look, this person broke this sin, has been continually breaking, doing the same sin over and over again. I have a right to this person. And God, because he's a righteous God and because of free will, uh, will, will grant the devil the, the ability to uh, either uh, obsess us through mental attacks, oppression, physical attracts or even demonization where you know some way or another allows the demon to to have some control over our life okay anyways if you have any questions you could place it below and um god bless you All right, bye bye